Alright, we back rolling, man. <laughs> Had to take a little break, commercial break, you know what I mean? Commercial break, you know what I'm saying? But, alright, man. That Alright, so everybody been pee, you know, before this plane take off. Yeah, buddy. Alright, right, we back on it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get back on it, man. So, oh, man. I, my mind's everywhere with it right now. We, we went from LGBT to, you know what I'm saying, fucking with your partners and all this shit like that. All right. Mm-hmm. Locking on the soul, huh? Let me ask you this. <laughs> yeah, <fuck. laughs> that was funny. Let me ask you this. What, all right, let me ask you this as women, and like, same thing to men. All right, how long would you go before you allow someone to, like say you allow yourself to get intimate with someone? Honestly, uh, of course, again, it depends on the feel and the connection. Because I feel like I could feel when somebody is being genuine with me and when somebody is just trying to get something out of me. And I mean, quite frankly, people ain't even that clever. Like, oh, talk about it. You just, ah. everybody, I mean, guys talk mm-hmm. and they have, you know, everybody have their whole kumbaya, my lord. They need to gather up some different methods, mm-hmm. some different conversations. What you mean? You and when I turn you down, stop. Stop asking me if I smoke. <laughs> Stop asking me if I smoke. Because the fact that I smoke is not... Man, see, if I just told you I smoke, you don't think I already got a plug? Mm-hmm. And what if I'm trying to stop smoking, which I am? So, mm-hmm. it, it, it's just like... Just, I honestly, for men and women, I wish everybody could just stop fronting on what they really want from mm-hmm. each other and just be fucking honest. Like, if you hanging out with somebody, you think they cool, and you desire all that you just want to fuck, tell them that. I wish we could get to a place in this world where people could really just be honest, but everybody's so busy getting defensive and, oh, I do that good. And it's like, some people being defensive, some people trying to get over on you, don't really give a fuck about your feelings, just trying to get yeah. shit out of you. Yeah. And I feel like that's fucked up. It's just, just, just be true. Be true to yourself. Because quite frankly, at the end of the day, the only injustice you're doing is to yourself. Because at some point in time, you're going to fucking sit down and you're going to realize, mm. what the fuck have I been doing this whole time? Mm. But to play devil's advocate, you know that, okay, so you, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, you know what I'm saying? So mm. of course he's going to come with the... You know the oh yeah man you know let's you know do what we, you know he, he gonna go with his move because like once you know I ain't, I'm not gonna it's not every guy I'm just you know I'm just we talking about that certain guy you know what I'm saying once he gets what he gets and it's like okay yeah I just wanted to fuck but if I just told you straight up I just wanted to fuck it's a better chance of you know what I'm saying you not going you but know what I saying? also feel like it's the delivery as well Ooh, nobody yeah. should really just bust out oh I want to fuck mm. yeah but you know hey we've been hanging out a lot. I find you very attractive. I'm not exactly in a place of starting a relationship, but if you're comfortable, can we move in this area? It's not that simple. That's gonna make us sit down and think. That's gonna make everybody sit down and think. That's gonna make everybody sit down and think. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna be like, and you really gonna be like, because that person can no longer get offended. You just taken off all the fake shit it was just a bill mm-hmm. they gonna have to sit down and process that because mm-hmm. quite frankly all the extra words mm-hmm. is gonna they're gonna be thinking about all them words yeah. because, you, because you didn't just say oh i want to fuck you was paying the phone bill <laughs> you big phone bill baby. Right. Me up on some money. Right. <laughs> you know she, she might actually sit there and be like you and know? I don't have that happen to me yet. And I said that, I was like, hmm, you you kind of fine, but like, I don't know, like, I thought about it. Mm. I ain't do it, but I thought about it. I'm still thinking about it, fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> you make, I feel like you can still use honey, just change it. You know, change. don't, don't, don't go grab the fucking, the, the bee, the fucking beehive and be mm. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the steps of procedures, right? Yeah. yeah. 
You know what? You know those. You, you know what? I'm sorry, brother. I'm gonna let you go because I'm gonna ask you another question too. But you know what those steps and procedures are? Bullshit. I'm gonna bullshit you. Ooh, now you know you get what you get. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know there's some good bullshit, is not. There's there's the shitty one, but there's some good one. I know you know what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not trying to do this. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I feel like mm-hmm. what I said it was pretty clear. Just like you and straight to the point. But mm-hmm. see, what you saying, you, you're talking about a person with sense. A lot of these dudes don't got no sense. Don't say just dudes. It's females okay, out here like this. <laughs> they don't got no sense for real. They can't even formulate their sentence. That was, mm. that was smooth. Right. You know? That's your MLK. I, I don't know. I'll be having... I, I want to ask you, bro. You say it is that easy. Let's go back to it. Talk about it. Like, like, I mean, I feel like as long as you keep in the bill with somebody, bro, mm. Like, imagine if you, that girl was really feeling you. You know what I'm saying? On a right. completely different level because you yeah. bullshitting. You bullshit. know what I'm saying? Right. And you finally fucking just let that person, like, then you add to the niggas ain't shit tribute. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, yeah. When yeah. you could just been up front from the beginning. Yeah, really you right. know what I'm saying? Right. It's not, even if you just came out like that, be like, yeah, we, do, we was cool. I think we should start, you know, doing this. That sounds way better than just, I don't fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. what you might say in your head, bro, but you gotta really think about how that person really feeling. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, they might be thinking the same thing. That, that, and that, you know, that's, that's a valid point. <laughs> I feel like a lot of women do be thinking the same thing, but I feel like a lot of pressure is put on women in a manner of like, oh, you don't be loose or don't be too easy or don't be this or don't be that. But we don't live in that world no more. We don't live in that world no more. Okay, but I feel like at the same time, we don't live in that world, but we've taken turns like Mm -hmm. whole, slut. Those Those are negative terms with negative connotations. We've just taken them and turned them into positive. Yeah, because if you tell me I just like, oh, I think I look good. Like, you know, like, I feel like it's still there <laughs> yeah, yeah. because, and I'm not even gonna lie. Quite frankly, it may not be mm-hmm. present, but that's something that is still valid, especially mm-hmm. in a man's mind. That is why the whole what's your body count. That is why body count is still a thing. But you know what? You ask me what's your. This is my thing here. You ask me what's my body count, but men don't provide no more. Females is where it's at. Now, I'm not shitting on men, but how many men my age or I'm 24, how many men have I came across now that I'm dating that can provide, that can do half the shit that I can do? I've came across maybe one, one and a half. So you ask me what's my body count, but I'm sitting on more responsibilities, providing more shit than you, but you worrying about how many minutes I'm fucking. But yet you can't even take care of me if it comes to what it comes to. That's why I say we're not in that same time. Cause men used to be providers, protectors. What, what, what me, what me fucking gotta do with that? And you can't do what you gotta do. We not in the same time, you know. We're not, but at the same time, I still feel like that's just another weight that we carry. It's it positive is. to us and to women, but a, a, in a lot, and I'm saying in a lot, in a large portion of the world, that shit still ain't cool. Yeah. But it's like that's just another thing that I feel like should change. If it's if it's cool for men, it should be cool for women. Because I mean, honestly, the whole the difference the difference is not in gender and the difference is not in sex. The difference is in how we are raised. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Women are mm-hmm. literally raised to be more like you know, nurturing, like feminine, like it's okay for us to be emotional. And I'm not gonna say that's every woman, because quite frankly, it depends on what household you grew up in. Yeah. In my household, yeah. you was crying, it did not matter if you were the boy or girl, you better <laughs> shut that shit up. Mm-hmm. Unless, you, unless you got a real reason to be crying like that. <laughs> but there still is that leeway that I have as women as a woman to like you know be emotional cause a ruckus and not like and it's okay but quite frankly a man especially a black man can't do that and i feel like 
I'm saying I feel, but it's, it's damn near almost scientific because our brains, I was just talking to him about that. We have like in our, our side that's like emotion and our side that's like logic. I feel like women are taught to function more out of their emotional side and mm -hmm. men are taught to function more out of their logical side. And quite frankly, everybody needs to be using their whole ass motherfucking yeah. brain. Yeah, you, need to, you need everybody needs to go back to the drawing board and figure out how to use that whole shit before getting to somebody else's oh ass God. about only being able to use half. Right. Okay. I like that. I like how you bring that full circle. Because we have to come together. I really do get tired of the old oh, bitches ain't shit, niggas ain't shit. Everybody, yeah, hey, yo, listen. Talk. In my mind, uh, we are all fucking up. Everybody yeah. is fucking mm -hmm. up. But we are singing the same motherfucking song on two different sides of a boat, and mm -hmm. we need to learn how to drive the motherfucking boat. Because right now, ain't no goddamn. Niggas, people scared to admit when they fucking fucking up or they wrong, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Cause like people, like women make a whole bunch of good ass points that I hear and I be like, yeah, niggas do be doing that shit. Yeah. And niggas be making the same type of points, you see what I'm saying? But are you really going, you going to sit there and say that shit in your head, like, oh, that motherfucker right. Well, are you going to have enough courage to be like, yeah, this nigga right. right. And try yeah. to side with the motherfucker or side with the women, you know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like if we just really fucking listen, and just do what each other fucking say. Communication. Right, just go fucking right. Communication. You know I mean? communication. Yeah. communication is the key of the world. Oh my God. <laughs> communication. Is they could, everything could be so simple, but we making it hard for yeah. what? It is because if you came off group and was like, you know, that's why I always say to my girl, what do you want? Do you just want to fuck? Do you want to talk? Do you want to date? Like, you came off group with some pure intent. I'm like, this is my thing. If it's not really like you, don't have me acting crazy, bro. If you want to fuck, just say that in the first day or two. Let me move on the way I want to move. Don't have me acting crazy for nothing. And you know, honestly, I feel like it also make it easier for the person who just wants to have sex because now you don't have to spend all your time yeah. and your, yeah. your yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that yeah. shit is insane. Yeah. When you could have just asked, yeah. the person that you want is out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, so what you're looking for That's is right. there. Right. Like right. you can save your time, quiet, your brother. energy. <laughs> your eye or like you know we just meet at some you know what I'm saying or some shit like I'm not really the person who really just you know what I'm saying if I'm, if I'm talking to you it's not I'm I'm nine times out of ten I'm not shooting mm -hmm. I'm just I don't know like I said not it's not my lack of confidence it's just it's just never never been my thing you know what I'm saying I never really had the words to be like you know ooh you know what I'm saying put that shit together that's just I don't know and then like I said I don't I got turned out bad one time. <laughs> Boy, look at your ugly ass. How about that? Yeah, see, and that's the thing. It's a 12. That's the thing, bro. It's like, I'm not scared of rejection, but if you reject me like that, bitch, I'm going to come back on some rowdy shit. Because it's like, why you been rowdy with me? Damn. If I didn't come up to you on the disrespectful shit, I feel like you you should no, come back at you. Like, Especially to see you out there, bro. Like that's crazy. You know, yeah. some of that. But I don't want to talk to you. Wait a minute. Yeah, like, that, that, like, yeah, yeah. But like, why you gonna just be like, nah, I'm yeah. good. You know what I'm saying? I'm the rule, but right. why right. I gotta be a medium? Man, get the fuck out of my face. What the fuck? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, why I gotta be that? I, I, I didn't come at you like that, so I feel like you shouldn't have to come back at me. But you know what it be sometimes? And I want you ladies to let me know. Is it this because like? Some guys will be like, man, come on, why do you, you, you got a friend? You, they, they start, you know, they push it, yeah, push it, push it. it. Like, is it because I of that? I don't think I've ever reacted to a guy trying to talk to me like that. And I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Why would I do that? Yeah. Like, do you have no decorum? I, and I'm not yeah. trying to, trying to shit on nobody that responds to a nigga trying to talk to him like that. But, bro, who raised you? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a person at the end of the day who was interested in you. No matter if he wants to fuck, talk, go, go on the beach, whatever. Right. Like, that's a person, bro. Like he built up the confidence to even approach you, and yeah. then you just—that's yeah, the hardest part. Of the yeah. <laughs> yeah, because and honestly, part. I don't even really like that women do that, and I feel like there's also two sides to that. Because quite frankly, a whole a, a large part of my nice my nice turn down is yeah. like, uh, this motherfucker gonna follow me and kill me. Mm. Yeah. You know? So 
That's real shit. Wow. Like, you turn, like, some men will genuinely not try to hurt you. Yeah. And, like, feel like, oh, she don't want me. And it's like, hey, yo. Like, that happens Relax, to me. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. They got, they got like, cuss me out because I ain't giving this number. And I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? Like, there's nothing. Eight wow. billion people in the world. That's and so, and I do feel like a lot of men still kind of live in that past times where like women like needed men for survival mm-hmm. because they were like the household provider and so some men still have that in their mind like they be thinking that oh we we missing out on something mm-hmm. and it's kind of like I'm nobody's property mm-hmm. you are not entitled to me I am a individual right I am mm-hmm. a human I'm a person I'm not what what yeah. do you think this is like I'm <laughs> and so I always give the nice turn down the smile the yeah. kiki ha ha because quite frankly I ain't even gonna sit up there and argue with you you know what I'm fucked right. me up I'm sorry because my grandma my grandma I love my grandma this day oh most guys love their grandma my grandma serves me like um, her husband. Mm-hmm. Like I like I go to family functions. Like like even on my mama's side, like the women are gonna bring me a plate. That's just how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know why. Like I'm not trying to like I demand. And even I ain't gonna lie. I'm spoiled to the, I'm spur. Not spoiled. I'm spur with it because it's like <laughs> I walk in there and be like, "Where my plate at?" You know what I'm saying? Whole bunch Ooh, of broken. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. But like, I, but I'm joking. But I'm serious. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And like you be like, cause somebody go big time. And like you know, now they like, well you can fix your own. No, 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 I don't, I don't care. Because if you tell us that, we gonna look like what the fuck wrong with your hands? I'm saying, but yeah. like, I'm saying like, so you, so me. all right, so you can, you can't to your man. Really has to, I do, mm-hmm. but it depends on if if you are fulfilling my needs, then I got you. If you are not, then what the fuck do you really think is going on? Mm-hmm. What are your needs? What like explain like, like dive in a little like what? Now I think everybody needs depends because quite frankly oh, cool. I'm not the type of woman to like like want money out of a man. Do I desire to be cared for? Yes. A- am I gonna say I necessarily want somebody to be paying all my bills and hey, yo listen, fuck them bills. It, it, I like to get my nails done. I like to get my toes done. Now, I just kind of feel like it's kind of pushing it. Expecting a man to pay your bills, get your head done, get your nails done, get your toes done, get your money for the groceries. I don't know. I feel like at what point are you going to gain your fucking independence? It sounds mm-hmm. like you don't want to do shit. There you go. And I it's don't like, know, sis. are you? You're going to have to disagree on that one. Ooh. It depends. Like... Well, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. I like I like my independence. Right. Now, if a man wants to do those things for me out of his pure desire to do them, right. if, um, am I gonna say no? Right. No. There's not a requirement. But I don't. Yeah. Right. Like I don't ever want anybody to feel like oh, oh, I gotta do this for him. Oh, I got that. Mm-hmm. Because at some point, resentment will build in. If there's no true desire to provide that, See, well, I but I shit. also feel like <laughs> it's not 50 50, mm-hmm. it's 100 100. 50 50 is just two half, two half people trying to make a hole, it ain't gonna work. A hundred, a hundred. I can all I can 100% understand why Dante wants a man who is capable of providing because she can provide, right? Why would she not want her equal? Mm. Right, I agree. Yeah, Why do you disagree though? I'm gonna be real. This is the way I grew up. My mom, you know, my mom is a pharmacist. My dad owns his own business. My dad has paid every bill in that household for the entire marriage before he got married. And my mom is a pharmacist, mm-hmm. so it's not like she don't got money. But that, you know what I'm saying? It's just the way I was raised. He takes care of her. I just, if you my man, obviously I got money. But you need to do the same things that, like you said, that I can do. I don't expect it, but I expect it at the same time. I'm not, that's not a requirement, but it's a requirement in the back of my mind. Right. You know. Because what you're conditioned to, so I can understand right. that. I understand that. That's what's up. 
guess I'm gonna add that most women don't think like y'all though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I did want to say that too. I love this bro. This is, like, this is cause my, this I didn't is came across a couple of women who want all that but don't mm-hmm. provide shit. Like, mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's been people who just really want you for that shit most of the time. Like, it, you're trying to like you was going with the trying to go talk to somebody. Like now, I feel like the first thing about here about trying to holler at you is, well, what you about to do for me? Mm-hmm. And like I don't, that's not the first thing I want to hear. That's not the feeling I want to get when I'm trying to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd be like, I'll be cold. Because like, <laughs> like you, you hear some shit like that, it just made me be like, never mind, nothing. Yeah, yeah right. Fuck right. you talking about? Right. I don't know you. <laughs> the fuck? You know, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, you, okay. So this year. I, I finally feel like I've really stepped into the I like girls portion of myself. Mm. And in that dynamic, I feel like I am the more masculine presence most of the time. And so it most certainly crossed my mind. I was like, this shit is going to be expensive. I was like, hey, yo. Because I'm, I'm going I'm to ask her out. I'm going to take her out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pay for everything. It's going to be nice. Mm-hmm. You know, we're probably not just going to go do one thing. Right. You know, right. you may go to the movies and then, you know, have dinner. Mm-hmm. Or like, I don't know, basically go do whatever the fuck she wants to do. Right, yeah. And then at the end of the night, I might decide I don't even like her. Hell no. That's crazy. But why you got to, why are you the one that? I feel like the person that approaches is the person that's spending me money. Now, even if you approach me as a man, I, I naturally, yeah, that's I'm going to be like, nah, I got it. Even if you pull your card and I just want to see people pull your card out, I got it. <laughs> yeah, that was a good sign for me. Yeah, it? like, she just, like, she, like natural. Some I'm people be pretending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do that shit so cool, you got it? Oh, God. I got another fucking thing in that purse. God, <laughs> <laughs> my fucking I I just I really do feel like if you just trying to get to know somebody on both parts in this world all we as humans everybody need to stop motherfucking fronting everybody be fronting too damn yeah. much you take people out on dates and shit and you ain't even really being your motherfucking self that's the issue go do some shit that's gonna reveal who you mm-hmm. are and stop being fucking fake stop being so fake you, to so, yourself so you, should, so you saying you should part on the first date. Hey, yo, whoa. Now, that's, that's a you are you are not. No, yeah. I'm saying, you said be yourself. You man, are. baby, oh. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like if it go that way, you, you know, I mean, but look, look how you broke the ice. Mm-hmm. I ain't never really met you before. Right. But you broke the ice with a stab in the back. Oh, oh dick in your ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that was, 
and talking. That was the most genuine conversation. We up there talking about roaches and oh. <laughs> <laughs> all type of shit. The People with roaches in their house and calls and shit. Yeah. I'm like, bro, that was the most <laughs> genuine <laughs> part of the I didn't know I didn't know him. I didn't know I mean I knew Kayla, you know. But I didn't know him. I didn't know we up there talking about man, this bitch had roaches in my car. <laughs> Bro. Right. If you see this, you down fucking bad. You always, <laughs> you down fucking bad. So y'all go, go shed yeah, this and that person will be like, let me see what the fuck they talking about. Man, we was talking about everybody yeah, down bad that night, boy. <laughs> and that type of shit right there for me let me know if I could really fuck with somebody. Right. Like she said, like yeah. we said it front of was all night. Just that, talking. And talking about whatever. Whatever. whatever that was like the first link right there. You know, and then right. ever since then, you know, we just been Doing just enjoying life together, yeah. enjoying experiences together. Okay, know? I like that. I'm, I'm all right. We're about to get ready to close it out, but I want to I want to close it out with this. You know what I mean? Because I feel like this is going to be a good one. Uh, how important is sex in your in a relationship? In your relationship? Top ten. That is like my number one. I'm not suffering in no relationship. Man, if we gonna be together, that's sex is a big part of. If you can't please me, I'm not gonna respect you. So that's maybe number two. Maybe they shouldn't be number one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's definitely in the top three. Yeah. Okay. What about you, one? I feel like it coincides with the connection. Mm. If the connection is there, the sex is going to be immaculate. Because I feel like, quite frankly, even married people, like, they, I'm saying married people, but you know, people who've been in a relationship for a very long time, you're with that same person. When y'all not on the same ass motherfucking page, mm -hmm. that shit ain't gonna be hitting. Mm -hmm. Unless you're pissed off. Mm -hmm. Nice hitting. Mm -hmm. But when you on the same page, it's always hitting. So I think it depends on the connection. And you know, if you feel like Oh, I'm so in love with this person. Blah, 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 blah. But you, and it comes down to the touchy feely stuff. I think that person should do a reassessment because you might just love them platonically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if they don't, they're not giving you that feeling. But then a lot of people aren't in tune with their bodies as well. So. There's a lot going She got a hold of that mother. She's been dropping gems all day. God, <laughs> yeah, that's all she do. That's all she she walk back there. Somebody go check and see if she's dropping. <laughs> what about you, brother? What you think? Top three for sure. Top three. Yeah, uh, but I want to say it's like top one or two. Probably mm -hmm. three. What's before? What's before for you? All right. So honestly, bro, I've been dealing with depression for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you can't even just really sit there and simply listen to me and be there for me and give me like real like be real with me mm -hmm. then you can really just get the fuck all together because mm -hmm. I can get pussy from anywhere that mm -hmm. doesn't matter but if you genuinely here for me that's really number one mm -hmm. like that that's number one number two probably gotta be we just gotta we gotta have the same shit in common bro like right. if we got the same shit in common like she said then the connection won't be the upper for me right if I can actually sit there and have a meaningful conversation with you about something meaningful for real and not just what your fucking friends did today, how you got pissed off today or some shit like right. that, then it's like, okay, we clicking. That's that's how I know I'm clicking with somebody. Mm -hmm. And then third, the same. But if the two, the first two there, the second gonna be the off rep. Right. So those three things right there, in that order. <laughs> yeah, you got a good point, bro. Good point. Because she can give you pussy all she want, but if, like, once you leave, you really down. You feel me? Right. Like like most black men are. What if yeah. you what if you really down in your head and you like, fuck, I'm just on any shit right now. Right. And you can't express yourself you because it's a bitch you as like, oh you oh you, exactly. you get an acronym, you're a bitch exactly. ass nigga, you're a whole yeah. ass nigga. Yeah, I exactly. Because yeah. yeah. I feel like a bitch ass nigga can't express that shit. Because mm. how you're a grown ass man, you can't express your feelings. Mm -hmm. Nigga, they feelings. You feel them every day. Right. And you worry about what the next thing you're gonna say because you trying to get in tune with your feelings with your girl. Mm. Nigga, are you are you straight? Right, right, right. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know that's, that's right, right, right. That's, I don't know, like, I love, I love the way y'all look at y'all phrase that I ain't, god damn, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a hypersexual. 
Yeah, I need that pussy on the. <laughs> 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 on it. And I love, tell you, love, love. Tell you, I'm rolling up, baby. Roll over on you. Look, 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 I ain't gonna lie, look, I'm with y'all. I agree with you. I feel like the connection gotta be there, the conversation gotta be there. Um, but fuck, like, fuck, we can be mad. You can be. You, I'm, hey, hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> I, I need it before I go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I'm going to sleep. I need it before I go to That's how I know we straight. You can be mad at the morning, we wake up. You know what I'm saying? We'll get right, woo, woo, but that's how I know we straight. We, that, that's, you ain't got to say nothing else to me. We didn't fuss. We're going to talk about it in the morning. All right, cool, but all right, boom. I know we still in the good because we still, you know what I'm saying? Doing the one, two. I know I'm sad to be in a relationship where a woman, look, you know what I'm saying? She's so pissed off, she don't want to. I'm like, oh, no. I knew it was about to end. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah. I done pissed off that's, too that's many times. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> speaking on that, she was the same woman who, like you said, I was down. I'm trying to express myself. And you got to chill out, man. You, you know, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh, damn. So I understand what you're coming from, bro. Like, damn. Yeah, that makes you feel like if you can't even go to your girl, bro, who the fuck am I about to go to for real? Right. Because right. right. at the end of the day, bro, that's where you got to go home to. That's who you got to see. That's who you got to wake up to. Right. And to know that that person not really there for you how you need them to be, mm-hmm. don't fuck with you. And all that, the rest of that shit out the window. Well, right. At least for me, I know that for sure. Right. If I feel like I'm, like, nigga really don't care about me and they just around, mm-hmm. then it's like, you can really feel. Right. It's like, you really no reason for you to be here. Like, if niggas yeah. want pussy, there's a numerous of ways you can go. Yeah, you can pay for pussy now. You, can, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you really want. But right. if I feel like if you really with somebody, you're really looking for somebody, bro, if they can't do those three things for you, those two first things for you, then what's the point? Not support, bro. You need that support. Like, real Everybody talk. Everybody needs support. Right. I'm not a fan of the, the men don't have feelings. That's weird. Right. That All weird. humans have feelings. Let me ask you, let me ask you this. Like, uh, when you come home, like you, you have a feeling that you know, oh, she's talk, she or she needs a minute, or he needs a minute, or, she, or he needs to talk. Y'all, y'all, it's a feeling, or is it a uh, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, like, what is that? Like, is it something you just you just say that I need to talk, or I need a minute? Like, what is that? Honestly, we just be going, we just start talking, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really, honestly, like, I like you said though, yeah, I could see if something bothering her because I'll be like, what's wrong? Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, just by looking at her, I could see like, oh yeah, something off. It ain't even the end. I could just look and be like, oh yeah, something, something not right. Let me see what's up. Mm-hmm. And she could do the same for me. Because that's basically pretty much, I've been like that today. I've been asleep all day and shit, you know what I'm saying? Ain't really get no sleep last night because I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to stop the smoking and drinking and all this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Cut this shit out. Yeah. And that shit lead me to being my real self and in tune with my emotions for real. Right. So. Now, every now and then I walk around and I, I'll be happy one minute, then the next minute I'm not saying shit. It's in my head. And she'll just be like, what's wrong? You feel me? And I feel like I could really tell her whatever's on her mind. Because mm-hmm. I already feel like I did. I didn't share more shit with her than I really shared with anybody. Right. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Right. If I feel like I could do that, you already been fucking one you. All the other shit don't really matter. That's some real shit, bro. Y'all should kiss that. I think like that. Like, God damn. <laughs> That's some real nigga shit. Like that man, like though. Like I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna. I ain't no bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Tip. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna tip. But like nigga, like real talk, bro. You can have me like really too. Cause some real ass shit. Not everybody can go to their girl because there's a thing called mad dick. You know what I'm saying? And some women yeah. throw that shit. That's I, that's another thing. Pet peeve for me. Man, like they'll throw that man. shit right back in your face, and it's like dog. Bitch, I don't throw the fact that I'm paying that, 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 you know what I'm saying? But like, I'm, you know what I mean? But I'm, I need you. Like, I'm not throwing nothing at you. But I, look, I just need to talk to y'all, whatever, whatever. And you just, no, you a bitch ass nigga. Or oh, the next, you know, two weeks later, she mad. Oh yeah, you was a bitch ass nigga when you was hollering at your partner. You were trying to tell me that your partner was wrong. You a bitch ass. You should have told. You, you. I'm like, oh man, it's, it's mad day is a motherfucker. Just, I need a woman back. Look, we need to skip mad day for real. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I'm not even going to the back. Like, I believe in no mad days. Yeah. Mm. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Express yourself. Oh, yeah. Mm. Say what you got to say. <laughs> as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. And that's something that I'm working on as well in our relationship. Because, quite frankly, just the, like, the household that I grew up in, we, as a family, we are still working on our communication. Mm-hmm. But it's like, sometimes you may say some shit, you just never know how it's going to go. And so I still have to work on, and he's very patient with me, and I love that. Like, he could break something up, and I'd be like, okay. 
I mean, I might have to take some time with this one. Right. And fuck, it may take me two weeks, three weeks, but he knows that that's just me processing and uh, just sometimes just being genuinely scared to talk. Right. Mm. But I will. All right. That's love, though. That's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to close it out like this, man. Dog, this is a great fucking episode, man. I, I know y'all going to enjoy this shit, man. This, I'm saying let's go ahead and give it up to our, to our, our guests. Period. So what's it? Let's say let's go ahead and give it oh, outro. Nine. This, I'm like, I'm sweating. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Here we go, ahead, bro. And I'm now. You know what I'm saying? And this your boy, TL, man. Y'all do Y'all see Rudy with me? Rudy. And today, we made, and together, we make the Rudy <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> Rudy. There we go, man. Appreciate y'all, man.